Good morning. This is uh, Dr. Najib Ahmed Romi from uh, Romi Mind Health Center, London. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss and share uh, about addiction. What is addiction? What is addictive behavior? And uh, how to manage its addictions? So this is very unfortunately it's a pandemic all over the globe and it's really alarming situation and it's a threatening uh, lethal for uh, the humankind. We must need to realize and then uh, when we will have some know-how about uh, what is addictions and how it is going to trigger and impact have very serious impact, significant impact on our daily life. So addictive behavior, then uh, there is chemical directly associated with chemical reaction in our brain. So today I'm going to briefly, I will not take more time within 15 minutes, I will try to cover each and everything. And uh, so addiction, it's uh, basically, it's a uh, uh, serious lifestyle problem because it's triggered to its lifestyle because I will uh, later on I will let you know positive addiction and negative addiction positive addiction is directly associated because all of the addictive behaviors is linked to our dopamine secretions which is positive chemicals and natural addiction is like sleep consumption of healthy food shelter love and belonging, contentment and in inner peace of mind that is directly associated with our natural reward system and that is addictive behavior, positive addictions, add active behavior, addict I use the word add action, addictive behavior, addiction, positive addiction, add action, I have to we have naturally uh, natural reward system that is directly linked to our dopamine secretions number one so negative addiction serious lifestyle problem one of the most itching uh, rather threatening fact in human existence many current definition of addictions are limited to one aspects of the problems and worse are shaped by uh, misinformation and reductions so addiction as a physical problem, disease by which the addict has been physically hooked on a substance and his body craves another fix and drives him to seek another high. Focus on organic aspects. One could be an addictive even if the body is physically fit and healthy. So other uh, defined as a psychological problem as efforts focused on restoring a healthy psychological state by using psych psychotherapy and other psycho psychological treatment. Devotion to good habit have a positive outcome. For example, if I wanted to give, being a doctor, I wanted to give an example. A doctor who is devoted to his job, his work to fullest and up to the level of uh, gratitude, attitude has good re reputation between his patients and his family. Because if you are committed to something and you, you are neglecting uh, the rest of the things like your family, friends, and you, you are committed only to your work, as for example, if somebody is very much keen and uh, devoted to earn money by hooker, croaker, by other means or good means, but he or she is ignoring his family, his relationship, it's, his even uh, his or her association with universe, with nature, then again this is addictive behavior. So uh, I may call this is, uh, uh, but workholic, like alcoholic, they are workholic. They are like, like addictive to their work. They are addictive to commitment. And at the end of the day, they are putting themselves and their life is at risk because they are very committed and they believe that they are hard, doing hard work and they are hard work. And although hard work is good, 
but if it is addictive how because you are ignoring other aspects in your life your health your sleep your relationship so being determined to your goal short goals but you have to uh, you have to have some know how about your social life your family life your own life so that is uh, positive addictions so you are committed and you are because i give uh, 24 i divide the 24 8 plus 8 plus 8 8 plus 8 is 8 hours your sleep 8 hours your work and 8 hours your getting socialized with uh, with your friend with your actual reality friend not virtual friends which is a form of nowadays addiction is a social network media is at a very addictive and very dangerous and we need to address because it is not in our uh, access so uh, next is uh, types of addictions i wanted to say there are various types of alpha type addiction which is the main uh, effect is on the physical health of our user such as tobacco sweets salts junk food and uh, we are ordering and we are just uh, online and because we are being controlled by an advertisement and lots of things are and uh, it's it's a, a, a junk food junk junky we are junky nowadays and that's why it's a sedentary lifestyle so alpha type of addiction is associated with uh, food sweets and uh, that that could leads to obesity which is pandemic all over thing we are overweight and that's a directly linked to hypertension sugar cholesterol you can name it even c- cancer mental health issues depressions diabetes hypertension hyperactivity can be encouraged and discouraged by social norms and another is beta type of addiction which addiction which have more immediate and destructive effects on the working of the body and the mind impacting the liver heart stomach brain and other vital organs of our body also have a negative impact on how person think and feels how he or she relates to others and how to make decisions medical symptoms are observed drug and alcohol are best example of this beta type of uh, addiction some such such as cocaine forbidden but alcohol is a personal choice because it's again your personal choice because lots of side effects so these are the beta types of addiction and gamma impact the cognitions emotions and social life but less impact on the body because here this is uh, the uh, gamma types of addictions you damn care about relationship you are very arrogant and you are very focused on your work and ignoring the rest of the things you wanted to be a millionaire billionaires like <laughs> nowadays it's very because life is very short like a gamma type of addictions ad- to work even you are addicted to work addiction of sex pornography computer games nowadays internet addictions tv and gambling addictions shopping addictions difficult to detect and measure no medical symptoms but mental such as tension aggression depressions are present uh, many patients uh, when they come to me and they they have just they, 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 their symptom is that they, they have um, an unknown etiology of headache stress aggressions irritability in mood constipation sweating so this is all due to because they uh, when i take the history they say no doctor I, i don't have any i don't smoke i don't drink um i'm okay but when i probe into uh, the matter about the gamma type of addictions then they realize that they have this problem because nowadays um, computer and uh, email oh, sorry uh, network media facebook and other so there are merits but the merits are more because when if it, it is addictive so this is gamma type of addiction 
and adrenaline junk junkie can lead to car crash because when you you are very excited and you are driving and this is adrenaline because fight and flight hormones are inside of our body so adrenaline junkie can lead to car crash aggressions nowadays confrontational between others and we are very much aggressive about the things and uh, specifically in youngsters so this is all about uh, the development how development of addictions addiction is not inborn traits but it is developed through socializations interaction with the one's social environment and through various social agents parents friends colleagues the media and so on stages of uh, development because it's not necessary to discuss here because it's uh, so these are uh, the facts so society's view of addictions this is very important because when uh, the people or society around us they can come to know about uh, we are addictive to various kinds and then society often misunderstands his his this problem of addiction and still denies any responsibility for this and leaves the addicts to carry all the blame and consequences because this is a stigma and we, we don't realize that the, what circumstances pushed the person into into the uh, into that bad addiction habits so true because my theory is neuro narrative therapy theory and self compassion self love and a cpr theory what is cpr it's because you may uh, be well known of cpr is cardiopulmonary resuscitation so god forbid and someone is in emergency and uh, he or she is near to die they do cpr in emergency or all because it's very common you can have come across so that is cardiopulmonary resuscitation to revive the patients who is at the verge of life and death similar my cpr theory is child parental relationship because the therapist is the role of a therapist is like uh, he or she is your parent and when you you are uh, when you you are in that theory and therapy then you just transform and you, your role is like a parent whatsoever the age group of your patient is that is cpr child parental relation therapeutic relationship so my theory is you need because i always mention the job of a doctor is not done when the patient is cured but when he or she is self actualized sorry then she is insightful mindful self actualized and interacting with the world in a satisfactory way that is the role of a mystic doctor so that is very important so society's view about uh, the drug addicts is very you know very you know it's uh, it's not appropriate I, i i may say so carry all the blame and consequences general opinion uh, gold that the addicts are liar untrustworthy and it's true but addicts can change can recover and be good persons again the hard work and give another uh, chance so this is the role of of a society as well as role of a therapist doctors if the therapist and doctor is only after money and he or she is just wanted to because the doctors they are very skilled and specifically my specialty is cognition thought therapy behavioral therapy if you you are doctor is only focused on uh, the money and the consultations and that's it so that that's a mistake of a doctor the mistake and mysticism of a doctor is the role of a job of a doctor and again my domain is cognitive behavioral therapies the role of a doctor is very important who is very kind to you and he or she needs to be uh, helpful to self compassion you have to motivate them change lifestyle changes through cognitions through getting realized that it's it's not something when you get realized about the uh, c e d t cognitive 
therapy, emotional therapy, behavioral therapy, because I use the word MBBS, mind, M, B, behavior, then B, body, and S, shaping. You have to give it some encourage, motivations about the addictions. And first, you have to let them know the, what are the addiction, addictive behavior. It's, it's, it could be with anyone, but you can help uh, to uh, getting uh, rid of uh, these addictions. So th this is all about addictions. And if you have Curie or if you uh, wanted to uh, learn more of addictions and how to get rid of, because there are a lot of, because it's in the industry for rehabilitation centers and they are making money. I'm not against the rehabilitation center, but I am the against of the notions if they are only getting realized and there are relapse and relapse patients are over and over again going to rehabilitation center. But you have to get realized through uh, the patients through my therapy, which is CPR therapy, child parental relationship. If your parent, if your child is uh, for God, for for uh, God forbidden, may have these kinds of addiction. Then, what would be your behavior? What you, would be your feeling? So, you have to be full of empathy, self compassion, and through CPR, child parental relationship, you can treat people and you can put them back on the positive addictions and to avoid negative addiction. Take well care of yourself and. Uh, if you have any query, my number is on my uh, uh, mystic, Rumi Mystic uh, channel and uh, you can keep in touch. If you are unable to afford uh, the treatment, then I would like to offer my voluntary free services for less well off and feel free. Then everything I will help you how to come on the track and lead a happy lifestyle. Take care and have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.